I do not encourage or condone the use of tobacco or cannabis products, and if you're under the age of 18, you can go ahead and get out of here right now. Alrighty, so today I'm going to be smoking a $2 cigar, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to be smoking a $2 cigar. This cigar was $1.99. I don't know what brand it is or anything like that. It's just pretty, it's pretty just generic brand kind of thing, but it was $1.99, as said, and I'm very, very excited to smoke it. I am kind of thinking that it's going to be pretty bad, I got to be completely honest with y'all, but I really am hoping that it's not, but I think without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get this lit up, and I'm going to go ahead and start smoking and start talking and let you guys know what I think about this $2 dollar cigar you know what i'm saying it's a pretty cheap cigar and it does seem to actually be a cigar not a cigarello but i think without further ado let's go ahead and get the packaging off you know what i'm saying let's go ahead and get the packaging off of this one dollar cigar and let's go ahead and uh well get it lit up you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying so let's go ahead and get this packaging off i have absolutely no clue what brand of cigar or anything like that but this does appear to be a real cigar it does not look like i i don't think this is like I'm trying to get it to focus, but I gotta be completely honest with y'all, but I really don't think that this is more of a cigarello type. It does seem to be quite dried out, but I, ha I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I've had this cigar for like a week and smelling it, it's a very kind of sweet smell. It smells good, don't get me wrong, but it kind of smells like a mix between hmm. Funnel cake and bug spray. <laughs> I don't know. I never expected to relate those two things to each other, but that's kind of what this smells like. I got to be completely honest with y'all. So I think without further ado, I got some matches with me today. I'm going to go ahead and get this lit up. I know this is not really a legitimate cigar, but it was $2. This was the cheapest cigar at the cigar place I went to, you know what I'm saying? So I think without further ado, let's go ahead, get some matches out, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and get some matches out. And I'm going to be using two matches to light it today. So I think without further ado, let's go ahead and strike those and go ahead and try to get this cigar lit and i'm gonna let you guys know what i think but yeah i think without further ado let's get it y'all you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying let's strike these and go ahead and get this lit up Well, I didn't really end up getting it lit, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, but right off the bat, the taste is amazing, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Like, it really is really good. But let's go ahead and get some more out so I can try to get this relit again. If these don't work, I'm just gonna use my lighter, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, but I am trying to avoid using my lighter. Okay. I just messed this up, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I'm just gonna use my lighter, which isn't in my pocket, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I know, it's probably sacrilege to use a Zippo lighter, but that's the type of lighter I got on me today, so I'm gonna use a Zippo lighter, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. So let's go ahead and try to get this lit up with a Zippo lighter, you know what I'm saying? I'm still struggling ever since my first time smoking a cigar. I have not smoked a cigar, as said. So I'm still learning, you know what I'm saying? I'm still learning, but so far, this is a much better cigar than the first cigar I had, you know what I'm saying? But I think without further ado, let's get it, y'all. Yes, sir, yes, sir, you know what I'm saying? Man, this thing is hard. This thing, oh man. My Zippo lighter got really hot. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Okay, well, maybe I will just have to wait a moment. I don't know what the deal is. I don't know why I'm struggling to get this lit so much, but it's the same issue I had last time where I'm just really, really struggling. I gotta be completely honest with y'all. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard, but I really am. This is a little bit embarrassing, so I do apologize. Let's just go ahead and get this lit up real quick. Ooh. Yeah. And it, it, it is on fire right now, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. Man, that's not bad. Let's take a slow draw, you know what I'm saying? This is not bad for a two dollar cigar i was expecting this as said at the beginning of this video kind of thing i was expecting it to be bad but i had my hopes up that it wasn't going to be bad and well i was proven right i gotta be completely honest with y'all i well i was proven wrong actually i had my hopes up that it was going to be bad but I or i had my hopes up that it was going to be good but i expected it was going to be bad you know what i'm saying but i gotta be completely honest with y'all i was just proven wrong i gotta be completely honest with you i was proven wrong this is not bad at all Man, 
and I haven't inhaled any. I've just been, I've just been puffing, just getting it in my mouth kind of thing. Let's go and test the body, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, very little draw kind of thing, very little draw, but the taste is absolutely amazing. I said it, it, it smelled like funnel cake and bug spray, I'd have to say, and the taste is definitely not like either of those, I would have to say. It kind of does taste a little bit like funnel cake, but not like bug spray, thank, thank the Lord kind of thing. I have tasted bug spray before, and it is not an enjoyable taste, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, but this, it tastes good. It tastes, it's very sweet. It's almost sickly sweet kind of thing, like, I got a vape right now. It's very, very, it's a very, very sweet vape. This is not as sweet as the vape, but it's very close to being as sweet as the sickly sweet vape. I got to be completely honest with you. So it is kind of crazy. Man. Yeah. Not bad at all. I got to be completely honest with you. Not bad at all. I could definitely see people taking the normal, the stuff out of the middle and, and rolling other stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? Rolling, other, rolling other stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? I could definitely see that. I got to be completely honest with you. I just be needing a sip of water because that is so sweet. I got to be completely honest with you. It is honestly really good. And the cigar itself, of course, as we can see here, it's not the prettiest cigar in the world. That is for sure. It's certainly not a super pretty cigar, but they are definitely going for more of a, I would have to say a legitimate look, but I don't know what the brand is on this or anything. If you guys have seen this packaging before and you guys know what the brand is, you know what I'm saying? If you guys know what the brand of this cigar is, let me know. But they're certainly trying to go, I would have to say, probably for the, the more legitimate, the more organic look. And then the taste is, is very much, I can't tell whether it's actually the tobacco that's the taste or whether it's flavoring or something like that. It certainly doesn't taste like any one distinct flavor. It certainly is a very unique flavor. It tastes like very, very sweet tobacco. So I would not be surprised if it was just the tobacco. I got to be completely honest with you all. But it seems to me like it's so sweet, there must be something else going on. But I also have never really smoked a good cigar, I gotta be completely honest with you so it could just be me not knowing what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Man, and I gotta remember, I gotta remember, I know y'all roasted me last time, I know y'all roasted me last time, because I ashed the cigar, I gotta remember not to ash the cigar this time, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But man, no complaints on my behalf though. Glad to have gotten this lit up and I am feeling very relaxed right now. I gotta be completely honest with you. I kind of woke up today. I'm kind of, was kind of feeling out of it. I went and smoked a cigarette before I, uh, I'm talking to you guys kind of thing. And, and I was just, I'm just kind of feeling out of it. I gotta be completely honest with you. But this is making me feel out of it, but it's in, in a good way kind of thing. I was feeling out of it in a bad way before this, but now I'm feeling out of it in a good way. You know what I'm saying? So I mean like no complaints on my behalf. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of those off days for me. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of those off days, but it's certainly not a bad experience at all, and I really am enjoying this. I don't really know what to, what relatively, what, what relativity to relate this cigar on or anything like that. But I gotta be completely honest with y'all, really, really not bad at all. I gotta be completely honest with y'all, really, really not bad at all. So I am. I am, uh, I'm, I'm quite enjoying it. I gotta be completely honest with you. I definitely am quite enjoying this, but I mean, like, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints on my behalf. This is gonna take a while to smoke, so this may be a little bit of a longer video, you know what I'm saying? This may be a little bit of a longer video, and I really, I gotta be completely honest with you. I have no clue what to say about this, but for a $2 cigar, this is not bad. I accidentally inhaled some right there. That was not, oh, something just cracked into, into, the, into the roof I'm under, you know what I'm saying? But I accidentally inhaled just a little bit there and I, I just about wanted to throw up, I gotta be completely honest with you. I, I just wasn't expecting it. It wasn't the amount of nicotine that made me wanna throw up or anything. I just wasn't expecting to inhale kind of thing. So it made me almost wanna throw up, but I gotta be completely, oh. <laughs> I just tried to ash this like I'd ash a cigarette. I didn't even realize I gotta be completely honest with you. I didn't even realize I tried to ash it like I ash a cigarette. I gotta be completely honest with you. That is amusing. That is amusing. I gotta be completely honest with you. But I mean, like, really, no complaints on my behalf. This is definitely a pretty good cigar and definitely something where I could definitely see myself smoking one of these again in the future, especially for the price point. With it only being $1.99 kind of thing, for it only being two bucks, it's really not bad. It's super sweet. And I'm definitely getting all the flavor on my tongue kind of thing. I'm getting a little bit of tongue bite maybe kind of thing, but not really anything too super heavy. I gotta be completely honest with you, but overall, not a bad choice at all. A $2 cigar 
I, like, I don't know how I'm gonna go up from here because I wanted to do, I wanted to do a two, so two dollar cigar video, you know what I'm saying? And I was thinking the next one I might do is like a five dollar cigar video kind of thing. But this is pretty good already kind of thing. So how am I gonna go up from here kind of thing? I don't know, but I'm gonna try, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna try. Man, no complaints on my behalf though, no complaints on my behalf. Oof, oof, yeah, not bad at all, and that, that ash is looking satisfying. Look at that ash, y'all, look at that ash, that is satisfying ash, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, it's looking like a Dalmatian, you know what I'm saying? That is some good looking ash, I gotta be completely honest with y'all, but I mean like, no complaints on my behalf though. This cigar tastes amazing and I, I want whatever is in here in a cigarette I gotta be completely honest with you I, I am very much thinking about uh, I, I am very much thinking about trying to chop up a cigar and then smoking the cigar bits you know what I'm saying I'm considering it so if I don't finish this I might be doing that with this I gotta be completely honest with y'all but probably not probably not gonna do that but I am thinking about it you know, you know what I'm saying I definitely think that would be very interesting you know what I'm saying but I mean like no complaints on my behalf I said I'm, I'm, I'm I, I said I have never said it but I'm right next to a road so I do apologize for any road noise you know what I'm saying but this so far the taste is amazing and for it being a two dollar cigar it is very much surprising me i gotta be completely honest with y'all it is very much surprising me so i mean like no complaints on my behalf you know what i'm saying no complaints on my behalf as said though i haven't smoked a cigar since my first time smoking a cigar in like what was it april i want to say it's, it's it's been a minute you know what i'm saying it's been a minute but this i i guess i just uh, i guess i just internalized all the recommendations y'all gave me you know what i'm saying i guess i just internalized all of those because i gotta be completely honest with y'all like this is, uh, this, it was so much easier to smoke this, but this is also a much smaller cigar than the one I smoked in April, you know what I'm saying? Man. Well, it's certainly getting me a nice chill buzz, I gotta be completely honest with you. It's certainly getting me nice and chill. That is sweet, I gotta be completely honest with you. That is sweet. It is nice. So, I mean, like, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? I really, I mean, like, I might not be the biggest fan of cigars, personally. I personally prefer inhaling my smoke. I prefer cigarettes, you know what I'm saying? But actually smoking this kind of thing, I've never really smoked a cigar. Like I said, I smoked the, that cigar, and then I've, I've taken hits off of friend's cigars before kind of thing. Um, uh, like, I smoked a cigar in April, and then I've taken hits off of friend's cigar as well. And I'm, I'm kind of, I'm feeling pretty chill right now, i got to be completely honest with you all. But uh, I never really got it. i got to be completely honest with you all. I never really got it. Smoking a cigar was kind of just like oh look at me i'm smoking a cigar kind of thing it's kind of a flex kind of thing but now i'm i'm actually I, i'm getting it kind of thing i'm getting it like this is super chill and maybe it's just because i woke up i gotta be completely honest with you but this is super super nice and super super chill and i i'm just enjoying it i gotta be completely honest with you this really is a legitimately chill experience and i am loving it I'm loving it, you know what I'm saying? But I hope y'all's day is going absolutely, absolutely fantastic, you know what I'm saying? I hope y'all's day is going absolutely, absolutely fantastic. No complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? This, I said, I was out of it for quite a while before before I, I started talking to you guys right now kind of thing. I was out of it for quite a while. Um, but right now, I am feeling so chill, and this is just making my whole day better. So, I mean, like, no complaints on my behalf, you know what I'm saying? No complaints in the, in the least, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, not bad at all. The bottom of the cigar right there is starting to come off a little bit, so I'm just going to peel that off so it don't annoy me. i got to be completely honest with y'all, but I mean, like, no complaints on my behalf. It does look like the inside of the cigar. I'm not really sure whether this is a legitimate cigar or not. Uh, I really can't tell. Let me know what you guys think. Is this a more of a cigarello or is this an actual cigar? It does seem to be where it's not just ground up tobacco in the cigar, and it is it does get ash like a cigar. It's not ashing like a, a, a backwoods or a... Or a black or, or a black and mild or anything like that kind of thing. So I am expecting that this is more of a actual cigar cigar kind of thing. But 
I really have no clue. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let me know what it is. I said, there's no brand on here or anything. I have no clue. This wasn't the shop's uh, cigars or whatever. There was a brand at the shop where it was kind of thing, but I have no clue what the brand was because I completely did not even look. I saw $1.99 and I said, I'm buying that. You know what I'm saying? I said, I'm buying that. I'm going to go ahead and try to ash this though, just because just I'm so scared it's going to drop on me. So let's go ahead want to ash it on camera but then it's going to just fall right on me i gotta be completely honest with y'all so there we go that was very satisfying look at that right there that was very satisfying it literally just went down and then went like it was like and it just splat that was so satisfying i gotta be completely honest with y'all man i see what y'all mean though i see what y'all mean though it does, de does definitely stay lit a lot easier when you have the ash on it. When I just took the ash off, it was so much harder to draw, which is something that is, is very odd to me because it, it's kind of an issue when, when you're smoking cigarettes kind of thing and you've got ash on it kind of thing because then it, you know it's eventually going to drop on you. And either way, the ash is all dry anyway, but this is very much, the ash is still hot, so it's keeping the rest of the cigar hot and it's making the cigar easier to smoke. So it's very interesting, i got to be completely honest with y'all. But man, yeah, not bad though. Overall, I think I'm probably going to end it right here. I don't think I want much more of this right now. And I honestly think if I smoke any more of this, I'm probably going to make myself throw up. I got to be completely honest with y'all. But really, honestly, not a bad experience at all. Not a bad experience at all. I am feeling super chill right now. A $2 cigar, a $2 cigar, definitely an absolutely, absolutely fantastic experience. And for my second time, like my actual second time smoking a cigar kind of thing where it's, I'm not just smoking somebody else's and I've actually kind of knowing how to do it kind of thing, it was a pretty good experience. But I am considering, I'm considering doing a little bit of a, a tier thing kind of thing. So let me know if you guys would be interested in seeing me do a $5 cigar, a $10 cigar, a $20 cigar, something like that. If you guys are interested in that, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, you know what I'm saying? But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I am feeling super chill right now, and, uh, well, I hope you guys are feeling super chill as well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, you know what I'm saying? And if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe for more content. I got my Instagram and my book in the description down below, you know what I'm saying? And I also got my merch, my, my book, my, 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 my Instagram in the description down below. I already said that, didn't I? Oh, man. I am feeling nice right now, I gotta be completely honest with y'all. But, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Until the next one. Stay safe and peace and have a great one out there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying?